Hi, this is Slavic with New Shooter. I'm here with Rod at Rotolite. We have a new Anova Pro. Tell me a little bit about this light here, Rod. Hey, well, thank you very much. Yeah, so brand new to NAB 2016 is the Anova Pro. This is 43% brighter than the previous model. It's a bicolor system, 3150 to 6300, and it's really the ultimate LED studio location light for professionals in the video, broadcast, cine, and photographic industry. So let me show you a couple of the unique features if I can. So we've gone from 576 to 720 LEDs with this. Um, 720 LEDs. 720. Okay, cool. And what's unique with our circular shape is we get a very, very soft uh, output to the light quality that a lot of uh, gaffers love. Um, it's a 50 degree beam angle. Now what's nice with this is uh, a lot of LED lights can change color temperature, but often you just have a warm or cool control so you can't properly white balance to it. With this light, we have the ability to display the color temperature all the way from 3150 uh, Kelvin up through 6300. Which makes white balancing on the camera super simple because you can just dial in the number. Yeah, That's it. Now with the previous Anova, we had uh, only one control. We now have separate controls from brightness and color, which means you can make really quick adjustments on the fly. Uh, we don't use pulse width modulation technology, so for any high speed work, um, this is a really ideal solution. Yeah, so tell me about this. So it's not just a video light, it's a video light slash like a really, really sweet strobe for photography. Yeah, it is. So one of, the, one of the innovations with this, if I click in both buttons here, this is the first LED light on the market that has a built-in flashing capability. Now, this is a high-speed sync. And one of the disadvantages with strobe historically is that you've got recycle and recharge time. Um, also, a lot of lights have a modeling light, but it's not actually the full light source. So the, the true shadow and highlight is not necessarily reflective of what you might get. So the advantage of putting a flash stick in an LED light is you can get that beautiful modeling light there's a true accurate reflection of what you're going to get. It's also uh, color temperature adjustable, which a strobe is not. But with the flash sync, and this, is, this will work with anybody, Canon, you know, Pocket Wizard, Nikon, uh, you know, whatever you might be working with. If I just show you that, so I'll just go into flash mode here, set up my flash, I can control the flash duration. This is a, just a normal Hanel trigger, and I'm firing the flash. And what's nice about that is when we flash the light, we have 150% power. So we can overcharge the LEDs for a short duration to get a really, really large burst. Well, it's really great because often with flash, you kind of have to just dial, trial and error. A little bit too slow, a little bit too fast until you get it right here. You can dial in the exact light that you want yep. with the constant video light, yep. get it exactly how you want to look, turn it into the uh, flash mode, and then take your picture and it'll be perfect first time around. That's one of the incredible things. Now, one of the other great features about this light is something we call cinematic special effects. So if anyone's familiar with our Neo product, um, on the light we have built-in things to do things like uh, lightning strikes, things like fire. So normally if you're on a set, you need a flicker box, you need a DMX desk, you need external power. It's going to take you three or four hours to set it up. The beauty with this is I just go into the mode, I can set my rate of flicker, I can set the minimum brightness level, so it's really, really intuitive, very quick. Now, what's different from the Neo is we've included a, a whole suite of extra effects, so I can do things like gunshot, I can do things like neon flickering signs, and now I can use the flash sync port to actually remote trigger the, assets, the effects on set. So I could have 10 fixtures in a TV studio, I could hit my wireless flash trigger and trigger lightning, so 3, 2, 1 action, right when the gaffer wants it to happen. Right, and you can hang them and have them remotely triggered. Yeah, and you can control number of lights, so it could be 10, 20, 30 fixtures, all doing lightning, all doing TV simulation. So power, what about power? This is a standard V-Lock? Yeah, standard V-Lock. Now again, this is one of the most efficient LED lights on market. So a lot of LED lights are uh, using 100 watts plus in terms of power consumption. We're only using 48 watts so on a tiny little 98 battery, genuinely two hours at 100% power. And we know that it's really color accurate, like the Neo is. Incredibly color accurate. So we're getting a CRI 96, Skin Tone 99, TLCI 91. Two last features very quickly is that we also have a unique ability, something we call true aperture dimming. You can actually tell this light, what is the ISO that you've set your camera to, what's your shutter speed, and how far is the subject, and it actually calculates for you your f-stop. It's the first time this has ever been done, and it eliminates the need to meter. If you're doing an interview with somebody, we have something in the light called design of fade. So you can program in a fade over a number of seconds. Light will now fade down to finish for you. Now the light, not only is it 43% brighter with all these extra features, it's 25% less cost. So the previous model in the US was 2,500. It's now $1,499, 1049 pounds, about 1,350 euros. 
Um, it's been announced that NAB and is shipping for Cinegear, which is June 2016. So $14.99, uh, Cinegear, does it come with a case of some sort too? Uh, so what you get with the light is you get the battery plate as standard, you get the DMX, you get a full suite of filters, so you get three diffusion, three magenta. Then we have available soft bags and hard cases as well, of course chimeras and barn doors. Great, well thank you Rod, that's the uh, Nova Pro $14.99 shipping in June, thank you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.